guys. Welcome to 2021, or the preparation for, anyway. <laughs> um, so this year, we are going to continue in both groups with some sort of year-long project. For those that don't know, if you're watching from one group or the other, I have two Facebook art groups. One is called My Creative Year, and the other one is called A Life of Art and Self-Expression. My Creative Year is only a couple of years old, three or by a couple, I mean three or four. Um, a Life of Art and Self-Expression was just started in December of 2012, so approximately. So it's about eight years old, nine years old. And um, when I originally started the project for My Creative Year and decided to do monthly, weekly sort of prompted art things for the Facebook group. It was going to be just in a life of art and self-expression. And then I decided to create a separate group for it. But then I decided I still want to do a, do a project in the other group. Anyway, I ended up with two groups. Um, up until now, we have and or I have had kind of the same or similar projects in both groups. This last year for 2020, we had written art prompts in both groups, and I shared what I created with those prompts in both groups. I did both prompts on a single page. I am filming this in December, so this is the page I did yesterday. And I have the two words, one from each group up here, and then I create a page inspired by them, and then I share it in, in both groups. That's worked out fine. But for this year, I think we're going to do something a little different. I do enjoy doing some kind of daily prompt. And I started doing daily drawing or daily prompts a long time ago. Like I've lost track now of how long ago exactly. Um, I started out by doing daily drawing prompts from a couple different websites, including Sketchbook School. They would come out with lists like this. This is the one I never got to, but I'm going to catch up on from October of 2019. Um, I have a few of these. I would download the um, image of the words and the prompts, and then I would cut it out like this, and I would paste it into the cover of a drawing journal. These are ones that I've made. They hold just a month's worth of drawings, um, and that's perfect for me. And then I fill up the month, and then I put it in a box in the other room where I have my finished artwork, and then I start a new one for the next month. And I'm going to keep doing that for 2021, in a life of art and self-expression. So, and I'll be doing prompts from other groups or sites around the internet. Um, Sketchbook School doesn't do these kind of anymore, but they have images of all their old prompts going like way back when. Uh, you can find a lot of them on Pinterest. So I will be doing that and doing a daily drawing. I'm gonna start with the, I have like six months worth right here in front of me or seven. So I'm not gonna to need to download anything right away because I got plenty and I wanna use these up. So I'm gonna doing that, be doing that for a life of art and self-expression along with another project. And if you wanna see what I'm doing daily over there with those prompts or what the project is over there, you need to join that group. We also have a different project that we're gonna be doing for my creative year. And I'm going to do them separately. They're going to be shared in their respective groups. So if you want to see what they are, other than these sketchbook school prompts um, and these, which, where are these from? Uh, Draw Riot Daily, which I don't know that they're doing prompts anymore either. But again, a lot of these you can find on Pinterest if you just go to Pinterest um, or their websites. They're still up. Anyway, um, so if you want to see what I'm doing in the two groups, um, they're going to be separate, and you need to join the two groups to see what you're, what I'm all of what I'm doing. A life of art and self-expression is and always has been more of an artist support group, where you are more free to share your links, um, links from inspiration sites or other teachers that you find, um, ask business questions, ask art questions, um, and it has a broader code of conduct than my creative year, which is strictly just about the art and your work. Um, so there's that. And so maybe you'll join both groups that you find one is better fit than the other. No harm, no foul. Um, but I will be doing different projects in each one. And if you want to see what those projects are, you need to join both groups. All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me through that rambly, overly long introduction. <laughs> um, 
When I started planning 2021, to be honest and to be fair and open, I, as I said over in my creative year, I thought about combining the two groups. It was requested very much for me not to do that and to keep the groups separate. Um, and, oh, okay. <laughs> so here we are. Um, am I still thinking about combining the groups? Yes, but um, we'll see how far I get with it. Uh, for the moment, we're going to um, have different projects in the two groups, and I think that will um, work very well for me and hopefully for you. Um, if you want to see what we're doing in my creative year, then you should go over and join that group. We're going to do a daily creative practice over there, and um, I enjoy daily cre creative practice. I will only be sharing that work with the daily creative practice in that group. That being said, I'm going to continue with daily drawings. I have uh, one two, three, four, five, six, seven different pre-printed uh, word prompt lists that I've had evidently since 2018 um, from Draw Riot Daily and Sketchbook School. They both still have on the internet, especially if you go to Pinterest, you can find copies of like this um, GIFs or JPEGs of their daily drawing word lists from years past um, on Pinterest. Um, they, I don't think either one of them are doing them anymore, but the old image files are still out there to be found. Um, I have these already pre-printed and cut out. They've been pre-printed and cut out for like two years or more, well, since 2018. Um, I'm going to continue with, and I will be sharing in a life of art and self-expression, a small daily drawing journal. I'll be pasting the list in the cover like I've done in years past and then doing a drawing um, based on each word for the day on a daily basis and I will be sharing that here. I'm going to continue with that and when I run out of the pre-printed ones that I already have I'll be going back and searching for new ones. Um, we have our own project again going over in my creative year so if you want to join that and do that one it's a da another daily project so you can get the info over there. Um, here in my creative year, we're going to focus on more general creative growth and um, the idea of mood boards or vision boards. Yeah. So um, we have one for the year um, and our yearly theme for the whole year of 2021 here in a life of art and self-expression is going to be motivation and helping us stay motivated, stay inspired, stay on our journey and we have a, a vision board to go along with this, which is this one. And um, there's a quote and everything. So I'm going to have a copy of this um, for you. We're going to start an album. And every month when we have these, um, we will start an album and um, have them there for you all to download and print. This is the one for Jan. This is for the whole year. So just a general where, you know, to keep you centered and in the right direction, this is for the year. This is for the month. So for the month of January, getting started. So again, this is to keep you motivated artistically, if you're running an artistic business or creative business, um, uh, to keep you creating, keep you motivated, hopefully keep you on the right track. And while they won't inspire necessarily daily art, they may for you. And if they do, I definitely want you to share. And if I would love for you to tag me in the post. Um, but they may, more importantly, inspire a conversation. So that is more important, in my opinion. So conversation. So if you're going to be inspired by one of these to start a conversation in the group, I'd love for you to do that. I'd love for you to tag me in the post. Um, just be mindful of the code of conduct. Um, check it out before you do anything. Make sure you're not violating any rules. The number one rule is be nice. Um, I have printed out the whole year's vision boards. I will be um, alternately maybe putting them into my planner. These are ones for my business. I have two of them here. Um, and or I have some mini clipboards that are on the valley. Um, and I may be hanging some of them over there. It depends on what I'm going to be inspired to do but I've already printed them out already. So I hope that's um, a couple of projects that you all find interesting and you fi all find that um, you are gonna be inspired by and that they inspire some conversation and some creative practice. And I'd love to see what you're doing. Please share 
And above all, um, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Please stay safe, stay healthy, uh, stay creative and wear a mask. And I will see you soon. All right. Bye, guys.